Hello, hello, and good morning. There's some beautiful morning sun coming in here. And I don't know what it is lately, but can you feel, maybe it's springtime coming, we're moving towards the equinox, so we're having more light, more energy coming in. And this is a really important time I'm learning leading up to the equinox to spend as much time as you possibly can in the sunlight, even if you're inside um, a building, just even through the window. Because these days leading up to the equinox, our ancestors knew, stores this sunlight inside of us and determines how a lot of things for the next part of the year. But anyway, so I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. I've been working with a lot of women through um, transformational womb breath work now. And there's something I keep hearing, and that is this. Madeline, something's changing, and I don't know what it is. So this is the beauty of breath work, because it's not something cognitive. It's not something that we get in there, and we figure it out, and we fix it, and then we send it on its way, which rarely works. It's actually moving through our body, but what they do notice is that when they would normally have felt anxious or they normally would have stepped in and um, started a habit like people pleasing or normally they would have tried harder or normally they would have beat themselves up, that they feel they see an absence of that. And, and initially, I've talked about this before, initially that absence can feel like a void it can feel quite uncomfortable. Like, I didn't know what else to do, but that wasn't happening. And when that starts happening with women, I say, stay with it. Let yourself feel uncomfortable. Let the void be there. Don't try to, don't try to fill it. Because ultimately, what it gets filled with is your truth, your self. And then these patterns are long forgotten. But it only happens when we're able to really go in and, and embrace with love those patterns that we have learned to keep ourselves safe. Whether it's perfectionism, whether it's taking everything personally, whether it's feeling like everything's your fault, or picking up on all the feelings of everybody else in the room, um, or whether it's your ability to shape shift and change yourself into different people according to different situations. That's not a weakness. That's not, I don't know who I am, so I have to be all these other people. It may have started out like that. But what if those things were actually your magic? What if those things were actually exactly what you needed at that time to keep yourself and maybe your original family or your children uh, now safe? What if that was exactly what the situation called for? What if the situation called for for you to shut down and keep quiet? And I'm not saying that these things are good things because we don't want the situations to begin with. But the world has been what the world has been in the last millennia, and it's changing. So now, as we start to feel safer in our bodies through breath work, we're finding these patterns are no longer needed. And that's where the void comes in. So I have worked with many women who were able to act subversively in their lives. I've worked with many women who have lived in abusive relationships and with maybe controlling partners, but they still were able to gather with friends. They were still able to communicate in different ways with other women. They were still able to get their children out and keep a social situation going because that's what their children or the family needed. And they knew that intuitively. And, and often, I've, I've talked with um, Afghan women who knew the best way for their girl children to get to school that was the safest way possible given the, the circumstances. Because women have this ability. 
they have this sense to know, maybe not cognitively, but to know intuitively how to shape shift and work subversively. But when your nervous system comes into breath work and starts to learn that it's safe again, we can update your programming. And those things that still are your magic, you can pull on them anytime you like. It's like pulling a rabbit out of a hat. You can pull on them anytime you like, but you are the one that's in control. You can learn to read a room when you have to. You can learn, you, you can bring in how to be subversive when you have to. What a skill is that? As you go through your day, I invite you to notice where perhaps you do those things that you might've previously shamed or blamed or guilted yourself for, and now bring in, aha, I see my magic. Join me in the Rising Collective, our monthly membership group for $88 a month, which is half the cost of an hour of counseling with me. We get to do, we get to have two gatherings a month where powerful stuff is happening. Magical things are happening. I'll leave the link below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat.